Is the new Link's Awakening going to be multiplayer? Let's take a look and find out. Hello everyone, Chris here at Zelda Collector. How are you all doing? You're going to have to mind to save the room for this video. I'm in the middle of sorting it out. I have had to drop my green screen and I'm sorting out my boxes. I'm going to rearrange the Zelda shelf, get it all set up. But something caught my eye in the meantime and it intrigued me. So I thought I would make a video about it. And that is basically, is Link's Awakening? Are we going to get multiplayer functionality? I mean, if we do jump over to Nintendo of America, the website, which I don't venture on very often as I'm here from the UK, but if you do take a look, I was directed there. Um, if you scroll down, you can see the number of players is to be determined. So that just intrigued me. Why is that not on there yet? Why are they, why are they holding this back? Surely if it's just a straight remake of Link's Awakening, it is a straightforward one player game. So it's as if they are holding this back and we're going to get a reveal, maybe in the next trailer, that it will be online. And, and why not? I mean, they are trying to push the online capabilities of games. And they're trying to push for more sales and get more people playing online. Um, but it just depends what kind of game we're going to get. Are we going to get a Triforce Heroes style game? Or are we going to get an add-on like you did with um, Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass? It just um, it intrigues me. It does. It intrigues me. I think it'll be good. I mean, it depends. Like you said, it depends which way the deal go. I think it will be more down the line of an add-on like they did with um, Phantom Hourglass. Because for it to be a Triforce Hero style game, it's it's more of a full-blown game. You'll be more getting two games in one than you would be if it was like a, just a battle mode added on. But like you said, we will see. It, it is very interesting for me. Well, again, I think that kind of shows that from what I said in the last video where this is not a remake. I don't think we're getting a remake. I mean, if you look there in this modern reimagining, players travel to the mysterious island of Go Holland. Um, and like you say, if you do jump over to Nintendo UK and we scroll down on this one, you do there, 26 years after its original release, Legend of Zelda Link's Witten will be reborn as a new experience on the Nintendo Switch. That's a new experience and it's going to be reborn. And again, I've said this in the last video, but that, that for me shows that we are getting a, just a different game. Um, I think the next trailer we're going to get is going to be, it's going to be a big reveal. Um, I think for a scroll further down, this new version of the classic adventure includes many unique elements that appeared in the original Game Boy release. Again, not all, just many of them. So it's as if the first trailer we've got shown um, showed off the similarities to Link's Awakening. I only said it'll fail the next trailer, we're going to get a lot more shown off. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a tagline for the game, Link's Awakening, now whatever you're going to call it. And I think we will get maybe shown off some multiplayer and just some new content that's going to be added to the game. Um, so what do you think of all this? Do you think we're going to get multiplayer? Do you think I'm just looking into something too much here? Or do you think it is going to be a big change? Do you think we are getting a reimagining? Or do you think it is going to be a remake? Um, remember, it's dangerous to go alone. So if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next video.